educated. All right, Wiley well, Levi, owners on Zarike, might be once again he is um, <clears throat> the second most important piece on the Detroit Lions coming into the 2023 season. Last year he was the second most important piece, and y'all seen why. Um, golf was the most important. Golf upheld his end of the bargain. I said that you know golf and Anzorki had to have. <clears throat> You know, big 2022s for the Lions to be successful. Um, another thing I know that they had too many injuries coming into the season. Drafting J-Mo being injured, Honest Rookie being injured, being the second most important player out there. You know, and then it just trickled on. I mean, you had you know Reynolds, you had Reynolds go down, you had St. Brown go down, you had Shark go down, you had Walker go down, you had Pascal coming into the season injured. I mean, you had Romeo coming off of a blown Achilles. I mean. You had Jerry Jacobs coming off the ACL. I mean, Kaminsky went down. I mean, you go on and on. Charles Harris went down. I mean, Jesus Christ. But some good did come of that. I mean, Kirby Joseph got an opportunity to step up and show what he can do. James Houston got a chance to step up and show what he can do. You know, so it, it's some good, some great things came out of that. But it's no different this year. Um, golf is the most important piece, just like 32 other court teams. You know, quarterback play is essential. This is 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 what you need. But second for the Lions, once again, it showed last year. No real presence in the middle. When they had a presence in the middle, when Aline McNeil had a big game versus the Giants, you seen what 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 that defense did. Now he down 22 pounds. Good for him. But honest, when I, honest or he, if he can stay healthy and he, you know what he can bring is going to open up a whole different chamber. You know how the Wu-Tang got the seventh chamber? He opened up like the, he opened up the, the tenth chamber for the, for the uh, he opened up the tenth chamber for, for the Detroit Lions, man. And that chamber is, you know, if you can get, like I was talking about getting Chris Harris, dude, I would do it. It'd be on a three-year deal, and I'll really try to front load that guaranteed money. Uh, kind of make it more of a two-and-a-half-year deal or something like that. But, you know, well, if, if he give you what, what what he capable of giving you, and I loved him coming out that draft, um, coming out of Washington, I didn't know about the back though. Nobody did. Um, but if he give you penetration that you that you need up the middle of the defense, dude, you hear Charles Harris looking. I don't put no stock in none, in none other than the rookies playing well and picking up the stuff like the Porter and Green. I don't put no stock into they put the pads on, and that'll be on Friday by the time y'all see this video. So I don't put no stock in that wood drive until they put the pads on, for real. But uh, other than, you know, the rookies that's picking up the, the, the verbiage and the, the plays and all that and being where they need to be at. But, you know, he the, most, he the second most important player. He opened up a whole different couple chambers for the line. And if he can give you some penetration up the middle of that defense, that's going to shore up the run defense. That's going to free Aiden Hutchinson for one-on-ones. That's going to free uh, James Houston for one-on-ones. That's going to let Romeo Charles Harris eat. That's going to keep the linebackers clean where they can flow and feel holes and go sideline to sideline. That's going to get the DBs additional time in jail because the ball got to come up hot. There's no more irritate, irritant pressure or no more you know agitating pressure or, or it's not a better pressure than getting pressure right out the middle of the field. And what he going to open up? Now, nah, Pascal and Lee McNeil can give you something down there, too. Um, as far as pass rushing, then he just going to He can stay healthy and do what he do. He going to be unstoppable. Put your money. If he can stay healthy, if he going into the season healthy, put your money on him for most improved player. And I'm thinking about putting a couple dollars on Sam Laporta. I know that's risky. Because with Sam Laporta, tight ends don't really have great years. Now, Kyle Pitts had the greatest rookie tight end year season since uh, Mike fucking Dicker. Yes, Mike Dicker, that Dicker. Mike Dicker. Pause. <laughs> right? He had a coach. Yeah, he had the best tight end. That's a long time, bro. That's a very long time. That lets you know how hard the position is to play. And then he had a terrible sophomore year. Now, that has something to do with the quarterback change and Something to do without Calvin really being there and help could. Could just be banged up. But he's a generational type of talent, Calvin Pitts. But with uh with on, on his orca, he healthy and he he played, he could play up to his caliber. He probably should be the most improved player. That's the type of talent he got. He gonna make everybody around him better. He's gonna make the offense better. 
by getting them turnovers, you know, he ain't got necessarily get sacks. Get pressures. Because they're going to be looking to double team Aiden Hutchinson. They sliding Aiden Hutchinson side this year. And then if you can give them something up the middle with Anazorki, guess what? They gonna, then they're going to try to crash inside to him. And then Hutchinson going to have an out. So then you really ain't got a blitz. You know, really, you can go one-on-one. -on -one. You ain't got to have that many stunts, that many blitzes, that many desires. You know what they doing. I got four guys out there that's going to go get the quarterback. Pascal, Ana Zorky, Aiden Hutchinson, James Houston. That's probably that A1 pass rushing lineup. Maybe Charles Harris, Romeo, they get healthy. Kaminsky, Julian, I mean, they got a lot of just different guys up there. But he is the most important guy to what they do, even more so, more so, more so than Aiden Hutchinson. Because you need that you need that in the middle. You need a sack more sack with John Randall, or Aaron Donald, or Chris Jones, a Jerome Brown, or Reggie White. You need them, that type of dude in the middle of that defense. That just free that make that 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 frees up the back end to not have to cover as long. That shores up the run game. That clears it clear it out for the linebackers. That get Aiden Hutchinson one on ones who are playing next to Anna Zorky, whether it's Pascal, Lee McNeil, Isaiah Bugs, slide Aiden, Aiden on the inside. They get him some opportunity. And he can play on the edge a little bit. So that penetration that he's going to get is going to disrupt the run game. It's going to disrupt the pass game. It's going to flush the quarterbacks out. And he gives you an elite, really an elite athlete in the middle of that defense. You know, now can you depend on him week in and week out? We got to see. But we all can agree he should have had that surgery day one. We all can agree he he, he could have had that surgery from day one. He really could have. You know, so it ain't really no if, ands, buts about it. He could have had that surgery from day one. But uh, hell of a, hell of a, hell of a, hell of a uh, talent. If he can stay healthy and, 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 and you know, curve, because he really ain't been a rookie. He ain't got a chance to be a rookie, for real. If he can get that learning curve, because there really ain't no scout, scouting film on him. He might can get off to a hot star. So we'll see the real moment of truth, like Gangstar said. Shut rush in peace to Google. Shout out to DJ Cream. Uh, the, uh, the moment of truth is when they put on the pads. Him, but hey, check out the trailer, the uh, Lions Talk playlist. Thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, and the subscribe button, hit the bell icon button, hit all notifications, increase your chance to get notifications. We go live or drop a video. Uh, financially, want to support the channel, cash app, dollar sign CJD313, Venmo CJD313, PayPal link in the description. Hit the link tree, you can find me everywhere. Appreciate y'all. Peace.